Hi, this is Annalisa at HyperArts, and this video is going to show you how to add static FBML to your Facebook page. First, you have to create a page or log in and access your existing page. Then you can edit the page by clicking Edit Page, which will take you to the editing interface. Scroll down that list of applications to where you see more applications at the bottom. Static FBML should show up automatically, but if it doesn't, you can click into the search bar and type static FBML and it'll take you to the applications page. Click add to my page and choose the page you wish to add the application to from this list of pages that you admin. Click add to page and then go ahead and close that box. Now you should return to the Facebook page that you're working on and go back to the editing interface to find the FBML application that we just added. Click Edit, and you're taken to the FBML editing interface. First you can create a title for your page. I'm going to call mine Welcome. And then you could insert any text that you'd like to appear in your FBML tab. I have a little bit of text here that includes some simple HTML markup like a h1 header tag and a paragraph tag. And copy and paste this code directly in to your FBML body and click Save Changes. You can create and edit that code in a text editing document. I'm using Text Editor on my Mac and you can use TextPad on a PC. It's best to use a plain text editing application rather than a word processing application like Microsoft Word, which can incorporate some special formatting that won't be compatible with HTML. It's also good to have a copy just in case you lose the content on your Facebook page. So let's go back to our FBML we've saved. And now we're going to go to the editing interface one more time. Find that FBML application box that we titled Welcome. And in order to make the tab visible, we have to click on Application Settings and add the tab that will appear in the menu navigation of the page. Then you can go ahead and remove the box and click OK. Next, view your page to make sure that Welcome tab has appeared. Here it is right here. We can drag it to the desired location. It can go as far to the left as to the right of the info tab. And now to edit your tab further, simply go back to the editing interface. Find your welcome tab. Click edit. And if you would like to add a second FBML tab, at the bottom of this page, you'll see the option to add another FBML box. It'll show up immediately here, and if you click Edit, it'll open in a new window, and you can create the content for your second tab. I'll call this FBML2, just to see where it will show up on our page. Click Save Changes, and remember you have to go back to the editing interface and change the application settings so that the tab is added to the page. And we're going to remove the box. And now we can see that FBML2 isn't showing up here in the main net navigation, but if we click the double arrows, it's showing up right here. We can drag it over to be right alongside the Welcome tab. To create more elaborate content within your FBML tab, you'll need some basic knowledge of HTML and FBML, which is Facebook's markup language. If you've purchased our FBML code from HyperArts, you can copy and paste it directly into that editing interface right here. To learn how to add images, text, videos, and more rich media yourself, you can see our other FBML tutorial videos on the HyperArts YouTube channel. Or you can visit our blog at hyperarts.com forward slash blog, where we have FAQs, additional tutorials, and information about coding with FBML. 
If you're interested in purchasing a template for your FBML tab or some code to work with yourself, you can go to hyperarts.com forward slash FBML to find out more about pricing and information. Thanks for watching.